stories about how people, when they receive and accept the kindness, can affect the people around them. This week I would like to explore that moment in greater depth, because indeed it is a powerful moment that is able to bring a person to the highest of heights, or unfortunately, to the lowest of levels. And I would conclude with a story that my Roshiva of Leib Baksetzal shared with us about when he was a youth that I believe is very insightful into this very same moment. But first, the moment. The moment is when a person receives a kindness. So last week we had talked about how a person, when I was able to help him shake Lula and Esrik, was motivated to talk despite being traked for the first time in two weeks. But another person was very dismissive when he wasn't able to receive that kindness. So that moment is, a, is allows a person, when he himself receives that kindness, to become grateful and become motivated to be able to repay that kindness. And that moment can bring a person to the highest of heights. In fact, that is the only documented method that is recorded that Avram Avinu used to be made care of his whole generation back and to recognize Hashem. He would invite them to eat and he would feed them delicacies. And when they were satiated and grateful and they wanted to share their feeling back to Avram Avinu and they would say, thank you, Avram Avinu, for that beautiful meal, Avram Avinu would say, don't thank me. You must thank the creator of the food. And they would ask who that was. Because that was the moment when they were grateful, when they were happy and appreciative, that Avraham Avinu was able to seize and lead them back on a spiritual journey and change his entire, his entire generation. It is that moment that we have a mitzvah to bench and thank Hashem. The Torah says, and then, and in benching, we start off by being grateful for the food that we've eaten and are showing our appreciation. But then we go further and we're grateful for the land that it was given. And we're grateful for the mitzvahs that Hashem gave us. All the way back to being able to ask for the building of the base of Mikdosh and the bringing of Mashiach Tzidkim. Because the moment that a person has received the kindness and the emotion that that generates is a portal to be able to lead you to spirituality and ultimately eternity. However, when that moment is thwarted and a person doesn't want to repay and doesn't want to be indebted to the person who has given that kindness, then a person will be in denial. A person will have to find a way to write it off, to say that person really didn't do me a kindness. It wasn't really something that was good. He wanted to do it anyways. He benefited from it. We belittle them and sometimes we even villainize them. There have been many studies that have explored the human relationships, that that is the root, sometimes, of the deterioration of a, of a real human relationship. Outward Mindset and other programs have really shown us how powerful that denial can be in ruining a human relationship. In fact, it also can ruin our spirituality, as we say in Krishna. Those same words, we will receive anything from Hashem. And then the next Pasuk says, Then your heart will turn away. Because it's that same feeling of gratitude that demands a response. And when we're not prepared to give it, we then villainize and go the other way in order to make ourselves not have that feeling of gratitude. And now for the story my Shiva used to share with us. When he was a young boy, and he was in Shanghai as they were escaping the war, he became very ill. And when he was recovering from it, the Mashkiach, Rebbe Chaskel, saw that he needed to have extra nourishment and help. So he came over and he invited young Rebbe to come to his house and to be able to eat there. He explained that the food that they received in those days in Shanghai was animal quality food and there was still a lot of chaff in the flour and the oats. And therefore he explained that his wife knows how to prepare the food in a way that it is much tastier, more nourishing, and doesn't have those side effects. Reb Leib thought about it and he said, you know, my father, who is a pharmacist, has been able to give me a certain amount of money. I will come, but only if I could pay. Initially, the mashkiach was put off. What type of audacity is that? To pay? To pay your mashkiach? I'm coming to do a chesed for you. And you, and you, and you decline by saying you want to pay? 
So the Mashkiach declined and went away. A little later, the Mashkiach came back to Ablam and he said, yes, you know what, you can pay. And he explained, I'm not sure if it was at that time or a little bit later when Rebbe got older, he explained that the reason why you want to pay is because you don't want to feel indebted. You don't want to have that moment that we're talking about when you receive a kindness, that it adds a compulsion, a required feeling of indebtedness. And that's what you didn't want, that it was cheaper for you to pay. And I realized, said the Mashkiach, that it would be a greater kindness, a greater chesed if I allowed you to pay the money and therefore not to have that indebtedness. So we see again, it's that moment when a person receives a kindness that there is that required response, one way or the other. And as we have spoken about, it can either be a portal to ultimate heights, or when denied and ignored, can be a path to the lowest of holies. Our tefillah is that may we always be able to see the kindnesses that Hashem gives us, and may we be able to have the ability and the strength to respond accordingly and reach the highest of heights. And may Hashem to continue to shower us with true chasodim and chasodim to them that have only good in them. And we will be able to come closer to Avinu Shem Shamayim through only simchas and be able to continue to give nachas to our Heavenly Father. Thank you.